نہیں چار اگر کوئی مانے مگر میں نہیں مانتا میں نہیں جانتا بات بہت پرانی ہے We used to call ourselves the children of freedom. They were fighting for the very thing that Pakistan was made for. Basic pressure or influence is ideology. They opposed us, but there was no violence. There was no such thing as revolver. There was more tolerance, more ideological tolerance, more social tolerance, of course. The students were winning, but the government was on the other side of the fence. and they were lati charged and fired for raising their voice of protest every person worthwhile person has more than one history we all know that some people have one history two history but this subject i i realized has has multiple histories The history of student politics in Pakistan is as complex and troubled as the story of the beleaguered country itself. The students of the United India's Aligarh University struggle hard to carve out a separate homeland for the Muslims of India. The expectations were too high and perhaps at times unreal. Soon after partition, some of those who fought for the new state began getting disillusioned by rampant inequalities prevailing feudal system and social injustices within a few years of the birth of the new state young students started rallying around more basic issues facing the country by the early 1950s the main student body in the western part of the country the muslim student federation which led the struggle for pakistan was a fractured organization and new groups started emerging in response to the new challenges facing the country and it was here in college campuses all over the country that leading student movements against the establishment of the day started but the main contest was uh, between uh, the liberal progressive groups like uh, nsf and uh, islamic jamiyat talba and nsf always won it until late in the 70s basically ideologically oriented politics and since uh, in those days uh, the left lobby was ruling the whole world and uh, not only in the intellectuals but uh, in the writers and uh, and the students and uh, workers etc even the national elections all over the world all over the globe were held in the uh, raising the slogans about socialism and communism and they all talked about was communist etc but it was really a students organization which was bringing political consciousness democracy a democratic pakistan so we were as a student we were saying that we should have Pakistan the, the real dream of Pakistan should be put into practice which is justice for Sabat Muhammad this way the ideology flourished and this way a, a rationale developed that i can hear you and you can hear me and this can make the judgment of us it was not based on ideological motivations it was based upon the difficulties which we felt karachi is a city of immigrants most of the people who came here young people they had to work and study at the same time they got the votes more for what they promised they would do in in a particular college and a particular university it was about how the canteen would be what the prices of the food would be will they make a library will, 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 you know these sort of things what sort of recreational activity they would it was more about that the ideology aspect was there of course but it was more about that after the death of the country's first prime minister liaquat ali khan pakistan went into a seemingly unending spiral of political and constitutional crises
As the political frustration spread, the DSF grew in size and confidence and started formulating a response in broader political terms. This was clearly not acceptable to the establishment. That is when the DSF or Democratic Student Federation actually became more than just a, uh, just a student organization in Con Campus. It actually came out and started uh, airing a lot of other issues like, like Pakistan's association with America. America. Democratic Student Federation ने बड़ी जबरदस्त लड़ाई का आगाज किया और जैसे ही यहाँ पर इस्तेमारी ताकतों का गलबा हुआ, जैसे ही हमारे यहाँ इस्तेमार से हमारे फौजी मुहाइदे हुए, उसका क्या हुआ कि यहाँ कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी और पाकिस्तान पर पाबंदी लगी और साइमिलिटीलिस्ट थी। 54 ही के अंदर आप देखिए कि डीएसएफ पर पाबंदी लगी। Just to please the Americans. Just to say these are communists, and we were not arrested. We were young, so some of us who were in high school student federation joined another student organization, which, ironically speaking, was formed to compete and to destroy and defeat the DSF. That was called NSF, National Student Federation. We were young NSF people; those who had formed NSF, senior people, wanted us to join, and we joined it. In fact, we infiltrated it, and within a year, we took it over. There was an election, we expelled them, and it became DSF. From then onwards, NSF actually became one of the largest left-wing groups. 